you, Mr. Chair. Uh, Mr. Chair, may I firstly acknowledge the contribution of Nanaya Mahuta. Um, uh, Manaya Mahuta was at point, uh, with great pains to point out that the House shouldn't be disappointed with the contribution of Act, shouldn't be disappointed with the view of Act. And she's absolutely right, because we are actually presenting a unique view, the only view. We are presenting a view that's different from any other party uh, in this Parliament. And Mr Garrett took some considerable time and effort to explain some of the historical background to negotiations between the Crown, between the Crown and Tainui over the last 150 years. And I, uh, I see the Attorney General smiling. Well, I'm not sure if you listened closely, Mr Attorney, but what, what, Mr. Garrett, what Mr Garrett explained was that in the 1940s, in the 1940s, before Princess Tatuia, Tipuia would, uh, would agree to conscription, she required that a settlement be reached. There had been a demand for a settlement previously, but she demanded that, be, that there be a settlement be reached before she could agree to conscription of Māori. And that settlement was reached, and Mr Garrett pointed out that was an immediate payment of £5,000 and annual payments and annual payments of £5,000 thereafter. And those payments continued until the early 1990s. Now, as Mr Garrett freely acknowledged, that £5,000 in today's terms, $10,000, that has been eroded over by inflation. But interestingly, inflation in New Zealand really only took hold from about 1975 onwards. Mr Garrett also pointed out that in, in the language of the, the value of the day, £5,000 was the value of a dairy farm. So in essence, what you had here, you had a full and final settlement that was one dairy farm and one dairy farm thereafter uh, in, uh, ad, ad infinitum. Now, what, 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 what was Mr Hanari's contributions? Well, Mr Hanari said Maori were locked away, Maori went to jail during the period 1914 to 1918. And that may well be so. Mr Hanari may be absolutely right. But that's not what Mr Garrett said. Mr Garrett didn't even comment on 1914 to 1918. What he said and said very clearly, and I invite any member of this House to challenge, is that before Princess Tapuia would agree to conscription during the Second World War, she required a settlement and she got that settlement. But what was also interesting is that Mr Hanari made that claim and he made it by saying, I'm no scholar of history. So he actually acknowledged before he uttered those words, he didn't actually know anything about the subject, but he op offered to make those comments. But, but Mr Speaker, it was actually worse than that. It was actually worse than that, Mr Speaker. It was actually worse to speak than that because we had the absolutely condescending comments from the Attorney General when the Attorney General said Mr Hanari correctly corrected the historical account of Mr Garrett. So there we have, we've got the Attorney General saying that Mr Hanari, who freely acknowledges he's no student of history, is correcting Mr Garrett. Now once again I see the Attorney smiling. Well, Mr Speaker, it's come as a shock to me this afternoon, and I don't think I would have understood it myself unless I'd actually heard it with my own words that the attorney, Mr Finlayson, the Honourable Chris Finlayson, is actually challenging the whole basis of our democracy. He's actually, he's actually challenging the whole basis of our democracy, and he knocks the concept of one person, one vote. He made the condescending comment. Of order, the Honourable Nanama Hutton. Said, uh, my hand said transcript uh, change from shouldn't be disappointed to should be. No, that's 